okay so I got a request from one of my patrons uh, to defer uh, to create a system like this for example let's say uh, this system uh, this level has two um, yeah this has two uh, fences like this and then what he wanted to do is like if I change if I have to do let's say if this is a huge open world game and there can be hundreds of fences the same fence uh, hundreds of instances of the same fence throughout the world uh, around different farmlands so what he wanted to do is he needed a single place where he can modify the attributes of these fence meshes uh, for example he should be able to change the scale variation from a single point and needs to be applied for all other fences in the world so yeah that's basically what I am trying to achieve in this episode okay so for that Mm -hmm. let's see I'll create another blueprint in the type of actor I'll call it PP procedural mm -hmm. manager well is that a good name okay it's all right and there i'll define a variable let's call it um, procedural elements okay it should be in the type of procedural element and also it should be a an array public and I'll place one instance of this here right now there I'll add an element like this now let's add a fence wait not fence uh, maybe yeah this one now here uh, in this procedural object blueprint I'll add another variable procedural ma manager it should be in the type of procedural manager it's already like that and then get it if I have a valid reference of that then what I should do is I should basically copy the copy this procedural elements variable from that into here so get procedural elements and set it then continue okay so now this should be public okay now if I select this I can select this procedural manager and yeah these settings are from that procedural manager so I'll here also I'll define this one as the procedural manager now I'll select the procedural manager and let's see what happens if I change it change some value I'll add a rotation offset 
around x axis 90 degrees nothing happened but if I reload the level I should see the change yeah of course so maybe we should find a way to trigger uh, these other objects to re reconstruct okay so then what else I should change This should be less, maybe 100. And if I try to move them a little bit, you can see they are changing. Not a clean solution, but it is working. So now, yeah, the settings are from basically from a centralized point. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Mm, so how else I can make this more advanced so for example um, no uh, just uh, check this uh, the way I did this and let me know uh, what you think and if you need further modifications to this system let me know so let's look into them otherwise if you think this uh, doing it this way is good enough for you for your requirement then uh yeah yeah then that's all right okay and let me know and see you in the next episode goodbye